Hi, I'm Gordon Pollock. Welcome to video number two in a series of videos on electronic bagpipes. Uh, today we're going to look at using uh, the electronic bagpipes to trigger outboard sounds. So um, one of the questions that was posed by a member was, okay, can I use my electronic bagpipes to make other sounds? And, and uh, the answer to that is yes. Uh, the tricky part is that you're going to have to go through a little bit of a, a process to uh, be able to achieve that. Uh, because now you're talking about bypassing the internal sounds that are on your chanter and using some kind of an outboard device, either an outboard sound module or a laptop. Mo most times it's a laptop or a computer. Um, now, if you're lucky enough to have a Blair chanter, um, he's really simplified things in that the same USB port on the side of the chanter uh, will actually feed you right into your computer, not only for upgrades, but you can actually then send that into programs like uh, GarageBand, um, you know, other recording programs and trigger sounds that way. If you've got an older uh, bagpipe, it's a little bit more complicated, not completely impossible, but you're going to need a standard MIDI cable and you're going to need some kind of an interface to get from your chanter into your um, uh, into your laptop. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that today. If there's people who are interested, you can always find me on Facebook um, or um, you know, at my email, gordpollock at shaw.ca um, and get, I'd be happy to share any information that you'd want about that. But what I really wanted to look at today was um, the sounds that are available on your computer, um, not only in programs like GarageBand, Logic, but two very specific uh, programs that are out uh, for bagpipes uh, completely. So I'm going to zoom in on the screen a little bit so you'll have a better sense. Hopefully that's big enough for everybody to see. Okay, so I'm just going to trigger sounds in a program called Logic. And obviously there's banks and banks of library sounds for a lot of different instruments. Right now I've got it loaded up to an electronic guitar. So you could literally search yourself silly in here for sounds. Um, is that useful to you in a performance uh, uh, situation? Maybe, maybe not. I think a lot of these sounds really are more designed for use in the studio. Uh, and if you're going to use them, probably you're going to use a small uh, keyboard to trigger those sounds. But uh, for those of us that are more familiar with bagpipe fingering, if you don't play pianos, that sometimes makes it a little bit easier. But really what I want to look at were two uh, apps that are available. The first one is called Studio Piper. And when you load up the interface, it looks like this. Now, I'm using this as a plug-in into Logic, but there's no reason that you couldn't use this as a standalone sound generator in a laptop situation. There's four instruments that are available. There's um, uh, Scottish Small Pipes, Border Pipes, Illin Pipes, and I believe Highland Bag Pipes as well. I have to go back and check that. Um, but anyways, basically you can change a lot of the characteristics of the sound. You can, you can change the bore of the chanter, you can change the, the timber of the drones. There's um, uh, reverb effects built in. So it's kind of an interesting um, program for that. Um, I'll just, I've got the border pipe sound loaded up. Turn our drones on. Like many of these keyboards, you have the way of uh, changing the pitch. You can add reverb. So that's Studio Piper. Um, I think the sounds of it are quite good. Uh, certainly, um, if you are looking at uh, uh, using it on a laptop, that's something that could be quite useful if you're looking for different sounds to generate. Um, shut that one down. And let's go to a program called Universal Piper. Now, Universal Piper has way more instruments built into it. It's got not only Irish pipe synth, it has at least six different Highland pipe sounds, modeling Henderson's drones, lorry drones. Uh, it's got um, French musettes, it has Binu Coes, it has a Gaita. 
Uh, and obviously there's a lot more to these programs that I'm, that I'm showing you here, but let's just listen to a couple of sounds. Here's a, an Irish pipe in D. And I'll just scroll through some of the sounds. There's our Scottish small pipe in A. Here's our Welsh P bow. Here's our B new and the first B new cos. B new cos bro. Some of these sounds may be interesting to some, not to others. Here's our few, first French musette, a 16 pound. There's a larger musette. And here's our Galician Gaita and C. And then here's our bagpipe models. We've got Glenn's, McDonald's, Henderson's, Laurie's, McDougal's. There's a practice chanter with drones. There's a standard Highland bagpipe in B flat. And that's sort of back through the range there. Anyways, that's sort of a, a overview of a couple of uh, outboard sound modules that are available. Um, and it's certainly a way to take your pipe and access a lot more sounds that are either currently stored on your bagpipe or are available, say, like from Murray Blair's library. Anyways, hopefully that uh, helps. Uh, thanks for joining. Bye for now.